Hey guys, what is going on? Now if you're watching this video, that means you're ready to do a system firmware update on your Nintendo Switch. Now if you do this, you're gonna go ahead and scroll down to the system tab under system settings, and then you're gonna go ahead and click on system update. You're gonna go ahead and click on A, and your update is gonna go ahead and download on your Switch, which it is gonna restart for. Now, if you're running CFW, I'm just gonna show you the steps that you need to take in order to update your atmosphere and your Hecate. Now, the first thing that you wanna do after downloading the latest firmware on your Nintendo Switch is to go ahead and download the latest release of Atmosphere and Hecate. So if you go to the uh, updating guide that I'm gonna link in the description below, make sure that uh, you click on the links where it says Atmosphere and Hecate, and it tells you exactly which version to download. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this, and then you'll see that it says the latest release was released yesterday for me. Um, no matter when you're watching this video, um, it doesn't matter when you update your firmware, you always want to make sure that you uh, look for the latest release of Atmosphere and uh, make sure that you download the zip file version of it. Now once you do that, you're going to go back and you're also going to download the latest release of Hecate. Now for me, this was also released two days ago. I'm going to scroll down and just in case if the assets are minimize here you want to make sure that they're um, pulled down here and then you're going to go ahead and download the zip file go ahead and download that as well make sure that after downloading them you do extract these folders and then what you're going to do is you're going to be copying them into the root of your sd card so i'm going to go ahead and show you how that's done all right so i made sure to drag the two extracted folders here so that you guys can see and next thing you want to do is make sure you put your SD card into your PC. And what you'll see is that you'll see the root of your SD card and it should look something similar to this. Now what you want to do is open up the file for Atmosphere that you just downloaded. And what you want to do is you want to go ahead and copy and drag these files over to the root of your SD card. Once you do that, it's going to ask you, um, do you want to replace the files in the destination? You're going to go ahead and click yes. Wait for that to finish and then your atmosphere is already updated to the latest release. And you kind of want to do the same thing for Hecate. So you want to open that up. And what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and copy this bootloader folder straight into here and replace the files in the destination. Now, another important file that you need is this Hecate 5.5.7 bin. Now, you want to make sure that you're injecting this file into Tegra RCM GUI when you boot up your switch into CFW. Otherwise, you might have the wrong payload inside it. So next thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you put your switch into RCM mode. And then you want to go ahead and open up Tegra RCM GUI on your PC. Now, as you can see, you'll see that when I open up my Tegra RCM, it has the, the old 5.5.6 bin. Now, no matter what, when you're watching this video, this bin file might change depending on what version you're downloading, but you always wanna make sure that you're always injecting the latest bin file that you downloaded in the Hecate zip file. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna click on the folder icon and navigate over to this one. Now, once you've gone ahead and done that, you wanna make sure that, once again, like I said earlier, put your switch into CFW and go ahead and inject it. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my switch. You'll see that it says RCM okay. And you're gonna go ahead and click on inject payload. And then your switch should boot up and then you should, all you have to do is click on launch and continue on with your switch as normal. That concludes my video on updating your CFW switch with the latest release of Atmosphere and Hecate. It's very straightforward. Um, one of the many things that people forget to do is actually inject the latest payload. So make sure that you're injecting the latest payload from the extracted folder. Now, if you guys do want to update your MUMMC, I do have a separate video for that and I will link it in the description of this video and it will be linked at the end of this video as well. So make sure you click on that if you want to learn how to update your MUMMC with Daybreak. Now the guide does go over that as well, but I do have a visual guide. So I hope you guys um, do watch this one as well if it's needed. Now that's all there is to updating your Switch. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure that you guys like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next one.